Welcome to the New Mexico State University Library Archives and Special Collections, home to unique and rare historical materials, all available for research and use. We are located in Branson Library in the heart of the NMSU campus. The Caroline E. Strauss Research Room is located on the fourth floor of the library. It is your gateway to the history and cultural heritage of NMSU and our border region. This video will introduce you to the treasures you will find when you visit Archives and Special Collections. Our website contains valuable information needed to make your visit to the department productive. The Plan Your Visit tab includes useful tips to get you started. Be sure to review the other tabs which describe our duplication services, policies, contact information, and service hours. The Collections tab at the top of the page includes links to the different units within Archives and Special Collections. If you have additional questions or wish to schedule an appointment, contact us at 575-646-3839 or by email at archives at nmsu.edu. When you visit the research room, a friendly member of our staff will greet you at the reference desk. We'll get you registered and review our access policies. We'll talk with you a little bit about your research needs and then we'll bring your requested materials for you to use in the research room. There are four units in our department, University Archives, Rio Grande Historical Collections, Special Collections, and Political Collections. The University Archives houses the records of NMSU from its founding in 1888 as a state's land-grant agricultural college to the present. This includes the papers of past presidents and administrations beginning with the college's first president, Hiram Hadley. Important administrative records like the minutes of the Board of Regents meetings and the records of colleges, departments, offices, clubs, and committees are preserved here. We have the papers of former faculty members like Fabian Garcia, Clyde Tombaugh, and Mark Medoff. University publications such as catalogs, yearbooks, student newspapers, and athletic programs are all available for research. Scrapbooks of former students, such as this one, provide a wonderful glimpse into the social and academic life at the university. The Rio Grande Historical Collections, or RGHC, was established in 1972 and houses the department's most requested materials. The diverse manuscript collections include the records of individuals, families, businesses, organizations, and community groups from throughout southern New Mexico. The collections found in the RGHC may be of use to anyone wanting to explore our region's past. The papers of families such as the Amadors document the social and business life of early Las Cruces. Another fascinating collection is the Colonel John L. Thomas scrapbook. It's a record of the Colonel's journey by rail car from Baltimore, Maryland to Mexico and the Western United States in 1885. The Durango microfilm is a favorite among genealogists. These microfilm collections provide a detailed glimpse into life, religion, and politics on Mexico's northern frontier before and after independence from Spain. Special Collections was started in 1977 and houses published materials including books, newspapers, maps, and ephemera, most of which are irreplaceable and rare. While the bulk of our holdings are in English and published after 1900, we have publications in Spanish and other languages that date from the 1500s. This material is organized around specific subjects such as Southwest history, New Mexico authors, chili pepper publications, dime novels, and other subjects that directly support university programs and research. Created in 2008 after the acquisition of Senator Pete Domenici's papers, our political collections include archival material documenting New Mexico's political history, structure, and policy-making processes. The collections date from New Mexico's early territorial period through the present, with the bulk of the holdings post-statehood. The records focus on New Mexico's elected and appointed officials at all levels of government and leadership among the state's pueblos, tribes, and nations, as well as advocacy organizations special interest groups, and lobbying firms. If you're in need of images for your research project, or you just like old photos, we have more than 1 million historical photographs in our collections dating from the 1850s to the present. More than 50,000 of these images are available online through our website. Most of the photos are from the Rio Grande Historical Collections and cover subjects like the Mexican Revolution, early Las Cruces, mining, agriculture, and family snapshots. 
We also hold hundreds of thousands of photos in our university archives that cover the beginning of the university, buildings on campus, research, athletics, and student life. You can request scans or prints of images in our collections for your research, publication, exhibition, or personal use. If you're unable to find what you're looking for, just let us know and we will be happy to assist. Our research hours are Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Please contact us by phone or email to arrange an appointment. We are eager to provide the absolute best service possible to help you discover and access our incredible resources.